Hey, good evening, everybody. If you're tuning in um, specifically for this episode, welcome to Mindful Manila, your online community for mindful living in the metro. I am Nina Terol, the creator um, of Mindful Manila and your host uh, for this episode. Later, in a very short while, I'll introduce my co-host and our super special guest. So, if you've been here for the past few weeks, you know that every Monday we have the Mindful Monday live chats. And for the whole month of May, we had our Mother's Month episode. And last week, we had a Mindful Parenthood episode. And, you know, jumping off from that, today's um, episode is very special. So we have this episode on Mindful Partnership. So from Parenthood, we now move on to partnerships. And this is also actually a segue um, in a connection to our Father's Day episode the happening later this month. And we're super fortunate to have with us two really inspiring and amazing couples. Um, so I will be introducing very shortly Ice and Lisa Dino Seguera. I'm super excited to hear their stories. And also Gabby and Manch Dizon. So um, Ice, as many of us know, um, he's been a performer for, um, you know, for I guess for as long as... Um, He's been alive. Tama ba, Ice? Mamaya, papakwento tayo ng konti about that. Um, so he's um, a performer, uh, musician, um, singer-songwriter. Pero sabi niya, trophy husband daw siya to Lisa. Um, Lisa naman, and that, that's a joke, I, I'm sure. Lisa is um, chairperson and CEO of um, the Film Development Council of the Philippines. So they're both artists. And I'm interested to to find out how, how, you know, how do artists... Um, survive and stay, stay stay sane together amid the lockdown okay so we'll find out more now we have um, gabby and manch dizon they both met while they were um, in the ateneo de manila university also my alma mater they were both in the loyola mountaineer so this is a very athletic couple naman. um but they now both work in tech um, Gabby is CEO of Altitude Games, and Mensch um, handles um, business development and partnerships at 917 Ventures. So, they're very techy couple. So, we'd like to also know how they've they've been during the lockdown. And my own partner for this episode. So, I'm super grateful to have our co-host. He's the uh, curator of Fundacion Sanso, and one of my dear friends from college. And you know, um, I don't know, two decades. It's <laughs> two decades um, of friendship between us, Ricky Francisco. So I will now stop sharing so that you can see um, everybody in the studio. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Thanks, for Hello. Hello. Thanks for having us. And we are, um, for those of you who are aware of why we also chose this panel, so this episode is also our hat tip to Pride Month. It's June, tama diba? June is Pride Month. Tama yes, naman ang yes, research. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So happy Pride Month to our friends. Unfortunately, I, I do not have any rainbow colors. Pero nakastripes ako ngayon. Baka pwede na yun. <laughs> no, so we, we, we're also very... In yeah, so... Or very mindful of that, and nagahang lang si Nines ngayon, pero sa saluhin ko siya every now and then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know we're going to look forward to yung ano, uh, kwentong buhay nila Ice and Liza, Gabby and Mench during the lockdown. How do they cope 24 7 being together when usually they have their own lives? So, <laughs> Patanungin natin kung ano yung mga ginagawa nila araw-araw, yung mga habits nila, at uh, ano yung ano, ano yung mga naging experiences nila uh, that prove mindful partnership uh, could happen in ano in, in in any scenario. So siguro habang hinahantay natin si Nines, dahil naka-offline siya ngayon, um, <laughs> <laughs> could we start off with uh, perhaps Ice and Lisa na muna, if it's okay? Guys, siguro ano you could tell us how it was for you for for the past 70 days and mga nangyari sa inyo how do you work with each other stay with each other 70 days na grabe tagal na parang every day is the same yeah guys <laughs> actually kahit ako ako walang work ngayon eh dahil syempre ang mga freelancers talagang tayo yung mga tinamaan ngayon sa audiovisual industry but since my wife I mean since the start nung nung uh, quarantine. She's been working non-stop. Kahit 
kahit weekends ah. So parang parang normal lang, alang nagbago sa buhay niya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, actually, well um Ice and I talaga were inseparable. If kung hindi kami talaga nagtatrabaho, we were always together. So um it's not a big adjustment yeah. for us to actually, you know, be together, to be with each other. Um Actually, parang kulang nga yung time namin to get... It's so funny. Quarantine, we're supposed to be in one room. We we were, we have been. I mean, itong third floor namin, naging... Ah, dito, dito na kong nagluluto. Inakyat ko dito yung mga... Lahat, nandito na, wala nang babaan. Na. So, but... um Parang it's not and it's the time is not enough. Mm-hmm. For, kasi parang I'm I'm so busy with uh, public service. Um, we we created a program to support the workers. Um, we started getting applications. We were able to help around five thousand workers um, get cash financial assistance. So parang uh, tuloy tuloy parang ang, we we easily transitioned into the work from home setup. The whole mm-hmm. office. All my 100 staff are all on base camp. It's like a project management. Oh, camp. yeah. Wow. So, yeah. So, um, and I, I, my, my, my staff is relatively young. So, talagang parang ang bilis talaga namin nag ease into the, to the, ano, to the situation. So, parang ang, ang, ang actually problema po namin galawas parang we, we don't really have much time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Kasi kanina, nagkantuhan kami. Sabi niya, love, but parang ganun? Parang 15 minutes lang akong walang ginagawa sa work. Parang feeling ko wala na akong kwenta. Sabi ko, ha? Grabe ka. Iba na yan. <laughs> yeah, so talagang parang, and I, I would feel guilty, you know, every now and then. Uh-huh. Parang, alam mo yung, um, this is the time, I mean, yung before naman, ng, nung pre, pre, ano naman, pre-lockdown naman, I've been traveling because, you know, film festivals, mm-hmm. I've been mm-hmm. conferences. So we barely see each other. Pero actually, I feel like we have spent more quality time before that than actually, the lockdown. So, I love more. Totoo yan. Um, sorry, can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Okay. Oh, yun pala. Kaya, um, thank you so much to Ricky for being my partner. Nawawala ako minsan parang wala. No? Pero, di ba totoo yan? There's, there's guilt when you're not as busy as you think you should be, but you're actually busier now. Parang, yeah, um, walang oras. Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Eh, but for Gabby and Mench, and you work, you both work in tech, is that the same for you? Well, Is I there... guess uh, let's, let's go from the start of the lockdown. No? We're, we're pretty fortunate na we are used to remote work. So my company, Altitude Games, we set it up six, six years ago. And we were what I call an 80% remote company. We we're only going to the office on Wednesday. So then there are 40 of us in the company. So we mm-hmm. just nine uh, on how to work remotely. And then Mench mm-hmm. also worked for a tech company that has been able to transition uh, into work from home pretty easy, easily. So for us, it's really about being able to set up the routines around, you know, home life, around uh, around our work, around the things that we want to do together, around the things that we want to do by ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's important, no? I'm actually na kaya palang matira sa bahay. <laughs> because uh, if uh, if you know me, I'm I'm very much, parang very active. I also always want to be out and about. Um, mm-hmm. But I think what this lockdown has proven for both of us is we can work in the same space together, uh, but create space in between. So parang mm-hmm. uh, having that uh, set limitations and boundaries as uh, what Nines mentioned earlier, is I think mm-hmm. has been important and critical to parang us working together in the same space while homeschooling our kids while doing oh all my the goodness. laundry and chores. Oh, oh. Yeah. Actually, okay. yes, we want to ask pa about the, the homeschooling part. So, I mean, it, it's not enough that you're both working on something. You have to attend to, of course, the family, the household, and everything else. Diba? Um, sorry, did I did I jump in too quickly into something, or were you guys talking about something else before I pop in again? Yeah. Okay, yeah. actually, yeah. Sige, I was go ahead. Say, um, uh, kami ni Ice, 
parang it was so organic for us to we, we didn't mm. set those boundaries but it was so organic for De, us kasi to... nagkakataon i'm very introverted kasi uh-huh. so talagang mm. um nasa bahay lang ako sanay kasi ako ng tao bahay talaga eh siya yung mahilig okay. ba, talaga so Mm-hmm. Uh, kung ako sa bahay lang, sanay ako na kahit nandiyan sila, kapag I, if I need my space, talagang ako yung mm-hmm. tag- sarili kong kukun, parang ganon. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Actually, I think it works for Lisa because since I need so much time to re-energize myself, mm-hmm. um, nag-work sa kanya. Yes. Dahil mm-hmm. yun, may oras siya. And, and, uh, pero nakakatawa kasi <laughs> during this quarantine, siya yung gustong lumabas. <laughs> ako yung napapraning, ako yung na ako yung na napaparanoid kasi siya yung sakitin, siya yung makaka, makakain lang ng malamig, susuka na siya buong araw. Like ganun siya ka prone sa ano sa pinapahina mga... mo naman masyado yung resistensya. Mga <laughs> <laughs> kasama natin no. Like <laughs> <laughs> kayo mga hindi dito po. I eat ice for breakfast. <laughs> no judgment. No judgment. Okay. <laughs> That's why your name is Ice. <laughs> so, parang this, this is the feeling na, kasi he, he has a volunteer, um, he created a volunteer group. So, during, hindi ito to. Yeah, volunteer core, right? Mm-hmm. Grabe siya. I mean, um, he coordinates um, yung program salmon. So, we have a feeding, meron kaming hot meals program for our frontliners and our homeless, hmm. meron kaming um, uh, parang groceries for the different barangays, tapos meron kaming uh, hmm. parang uh, ang tawag nun? Yung for our, for the mental health? Ah, uh, 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 so first aid. he's been busy, you know, coordinating oh, that. Oh, oh. Tapos, gusto niyang lumabas, like he, he wants to be the one to distribute na parang, ano ka ba? Ikaw oh my! Dalawa. I mean, oh, okay, oh. magpaka-hero, no? Pero, you know, medyo, kasi hindi ako sanay na ganun. Kasi, kasi di ba, pag may puso kong volunteer, hindi ka sanay na nasa bahay lang. Mm. Gusto mo, ikaw yung nandun doon sa harap. Yeah. Pero wala. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ayun. So, yun. Yeah, that's, that's very, that's very true. Uh, but, it's great that you're able to, um, you're able to actually manage that from, from at home, di ba? Kahit na behind yeah. the scenes. Um, yeah. Pero, I also wanted to ask, kasi alam ko si, si Mench and uh, Gabby, si Mench had blogged about this, eh, when the quarantine started, meron silang quarantined. <laughs> so, would you mind sharing that mention? And then, and I remember because you blogged about that early on. Were you able to maintain that throughout the lockdown? I guess the 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 fundamental parts of it. I mean, the basic parts of just taking care of oneself, one's uh, uh, sanity at the same time, having time with each other mm-hmm. and spending time on work. So it's really just parang. The idea of chunking your day so that you devote your energy or your most precious uh, energy, especially if you feel very energetic in the morning, you do most of your important work mm. in the morning. So, and I'm I'm That's happy na, na ano ako eh, parang creature of habit talaga ako eh. So, sanay ako na may mm. So, I think yun yung una kong ginawa pag nung nag-lockdown, parang nilinis ko yung buong bahay. <laughs> Inayos ko lahat. Wow. Parang may schedule. <laughs> parang may schedule. <laughs> yeah, so it's very routine-based. And I'm more of, ano, go with the flow. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think, ano, yun, yeah, dahil mag- so yun. friends naman, si Mench is more like in the moment. I like to plan two, three steps ahead. Ako yung mm-hmm. nag-iisip kung ano na ba yung kukulangin sa bahay mm-hmm. in the next two or three days. Ako yung lumalabas. She holds mm-hmm. the fort. Uh, the funny thing is that Si Mench never cooked at home. We had a helper kasi. Uh, like the entire time we've lived together in this house. So that's over a decade. When uh, mm-hmm. the lockdown happened, uh, we said to our help, uwi ka muna, babayaran namin sweldo mo, pero doon ka muna sa pamilya mo. So mm-hmm. it's just the four of us, kaming dalawa, and our two kids. And lumabas ang talent. Marunong pala siya magluto. So we've actually <laughs> been having great meals every single day. Early for work, and then uh, you do the gym, uh-huh. you go to the office, you're in traffic, you go home, 
and then dinner served for you, tapos pagod ka na. So actually, this has been a really good time for us to be, you know, more in touch with ourselves as a family unit. The kids help out with the chores. They're already 9 and 11, so uh, they've been helpful around the house. So it's more like nakatira kami abroad na, you know, tayong apat lang, hindi tayo umaasa sa iba. Isa sa atin yung mag-grocery, isa yung parang there are certain chores assigned to everyone around the house. Wow, so talagang nag-chores na sila. Si oh, wow. Yeah, in between their oh. distance learning and their personal interests, and they're also working out online. Si mm Amara -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, pati sila. Okay, that's um definitely that's something to... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Ricky. No, I was just going to ask Lisa and Ice. Uh, meron din kasi silang bata sa bahay. So, baka, how, how, how was that? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Actually, um, kami dito sa bahay, talagang meron kaming mga kanya-kanyang schedule. Um, we wake up, mm -mm. we eat, and then after we eat, kanya-kanya na kami. Uh -oh. So, Amara's mm -hmm. own thing. Uh, she's ele she's 12 naman na and you know parang Ah okay oo. Uh -oh. start nagsa-start na talaga siya na parang to have her own clicks. Mm -hmm. Like she would she mm -hmm. can and she would brag about spending 7 hours on you know on playing, playing ano, with her friends Roblox, on Roblox mga Roblox. Yeah. So and then pero may mga non-negotiables kami. Non-negotiables namin is kailangan lunch Dinner. Uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, magkakasama Actually, kami. Actually, breakfast kaman. okay pa eh. Basta dinner, importante talaga. Uh -oh. dinner. Then lunch and dinner, oh, lunch and mm -hmm. magkasama kami. Mm -hmm. But she found a new activity na marunong na siya ngayon mag-bake. So, oh, yeah. kinabang ako. <laughs> yeah. Eh, dati, hindi mo yung mapahawak ng ano, ng sandok. So, <laughs> ano, <laughs> na marunong na siyang ano, marunong na siyang mag-bake. She's getting interested uh, in cooking. And it's so mm. funny naman, ang, gina, ang inspiration niya is TikTok videos ng cooking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> diba? <laughs> TikTok talaga. Actually, ako ang pinaka walang ginagawa. Oh, diba? <laughs> Ito, mukhang PS4. Yeah, Pero ano ba? Itong time ba ba nung lockdown? Ano yung sorry? <laughs> You're saying? Ah, Okay. No, pero during this lockdown, ba, uh, lumabas ba yung creative juices mo? Meron Ako? bang creative juices na lumabas in terms Ako? of songwriting? Oo. Wala. Walang ka-juice. <laughs> mm, yes. Kay Ice. Yeah, ako nga ako. <laughs> na, siguro kasi actually pinag-uusapan okay, na. pa namin ni Lisa. Sabi ko, kasi na-frustrate ako. Sabi ko, like, I don't know why why mm -hmm. I'm inspired to do songs. Like, and siguro kasi, nung nag-start yung, well, last year kasi, nag-start na ako mag-direct talaga ng events and shows. So parang, nung, nung nag-start tong year na to, sabi ko, sabi ko sa sarili ko, I'm gonna do shows, more shows. Talagang na-enjoy ko talaga yung, yung work backstage eh. And then, mm. this, so parang, yung alam mo yun, yung creative juices mo, nasa... Kung kailan siya nagplano Hindi lang, tsaka yung creative oh. juices ko na nasa organizing a show. Biglang, mm. na ganito. So parang feeling ko, na-discarrel talaga ako. So wala, naglaro na lang. Pero laman siya ng lahat ng ano ah. Lahat ng mga um, fundraising. Bayanihan musikahan. Uh, oh, yes, yes. So, yes. Mataas ang standards nito in terms of contribution. So huwag kayong maniniwala. Mm. So kaya naman sinabi niya na wala siya creative juices kasi. <laughs> Napaka-natural sa kanya. <laughs> Napaka-natural sa kanya. Oh. It's uh -oh. so second nature to him to 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 sing to you mm -hmm. know to do something because he's been arranging songs. I mean, yes. That you, I mean, etong last niya, I was so amazed. Like I was so floored. The duet nila ni Atelier sa longa. Yung wala ng ba? Grabe. I mean, he he was the one who arranged the the duet. Eh. So. But di ka proud na natapos ko yung PS4 games ko. <laughs> Apat yun na. <laughs> Ay, and si Gabby comes from a game development company, mm -hmm. di ba? So, um, game right. design, and you know, that's really a career. I wanna that's be right. your 
friend. <laughs> or mobile games, hindi PS4. <laughs> I love mobile games. <laughs> oh wow. So this is this is also the generation that can disprove our parents. Na sinabi, wala ka namang career dyan eh. So actually, ma, meron po. So, um, so yun, I mean, just... <laughs> Oh, pero seryoso yung mga laro. So speaking of laro and ano, so when it comes to homeschooling your kids, um, di ba? And the, the the mindfulness aspect of it, you were mentioning na, you know, your kids meron na siyang kanya-kanyang uh, hmm. interests. Pero syempre kayo din, you have a particular way of how to manage the household. So paano nyo minamanage yun sa schedules ninyo? Yung the homeschooling the, or the distance learning okay. and everything else that comes with it. I'll start siguro. So our kids, actually, they go to a school called uh, Dom Escola International School. Ang maganda mm. sa school nila, they were actually already starting with distance learning program before the quarantine happened. So kunwari, merong holiday or we go on vacation, meron na silang program, they use Google Classroom, uh, they have tasks that they let the kids do, submit online. So parang meron ng program. So when the quarantine happened, it, they shifted to full-time distance learning. So as our job as parents was really to help them along and make sure that meron silang some sort of routine as well. So they have scheduled Zoom calls where they talk to the teacher around an hour at a time. They have tasks that they need to complete either during the day or during the week or major project. So hindi kami, ano, hindi namin kailangan sobrang to talk. It's really just make sure that uh, they stay on track with their requirements. So uh, it's been, uh, no, I would say, the transition for us to distance learning has not been so hard as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you didn't need to be hovering <laughs> over... No, not at all. Um, actually, kids. Uh -oh. our kids are, uh, no, eh, are actually quite happy that they're not spending two or three hours a day in traffic. So ah, they, I would say, of course, they miss nila ang mga kaklase nila, but they're thriving in this new environment. And I guess mm, it's also okay, a personality. That's... I think our kids are also just like us, the very introverted, and they enjoy just uh, being in a like a more quiet environment as well. So I think that has helped so far. Mm -mm. So, so walang walang craving. Kid lang pala na. Sorry. Isa lang. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ice. Same thing with our kid, Amara. Kasi ibang kids namin yung dogs namin. Okay lang naman sila. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anong namin na nag-aaral. Um, before pa kasi din mag-start yung ano, nag, nag, parang nag-distance learning na din sila eh. Mm -hmm. And ang maganda naman kay Amara, since um, she doesn't do well when you're strict with her, parang kapag mm -hmm. mas strict pa ka, mas nag, sorry, may isang kid na pumapasok. <laughs> and she's really doing well sa class. So I just tell her that, mm. okay, I need the requirements by Friday. Hindi, hindi ko siya bibigyan ng, oh, dapat by, mm. by 3 to 5, ganito gawin mo, ah. Hindi. Basta by Friday, oh. dapat sa akin. Just be responsible. Like, wag mo ako bibigyan na excuse. Dapat may, by Friday, nasa akin. Hawa ko yan. So yun lang yeah. naman usap ko namin. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're also similar to what I mentioned, na parang setting uh, guidelines, not a lot of rules, yeah. pero parang very, mm -hmm. like, uh, a few guidelines that are consistent kaysa yung tinututukan mo. Parang I've never been, like, a hovering mom or a mm -hmm. helicopter parent. So I think they'd rather be kept uh, on their own then, eh, so they can just manage their time and the... Uh, uh, how they spend it, no? And we let them make their own decisions. Mm -hmm. Pero ano, um, since you're raising kids and nagbago na yung mga, ano, yung mga schedules nyo to spend more time with them, when 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 your kid does something na kailangan i-correct, who takes care of it? Meron bang roles sa, sa inyo? <laughs> um, Masya yung isipin <laughs> yan. Hindi. Um, Mas, okay, ako si objective parent. Kasi si mm. 
emotional din siya eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're so alike. Yon, yun ang problema. They're so alike. My God. Oh! Okay. Nakikita niya yung ganito ugali ni Amara. Hindi niya mapagalitan kasi ugali niya. <laughs> <laughs> and she knows it. Like my daughter knows it. Like that as well. So, <laughs> alam niya ang ah, don't get mad at me. Ganto ka rin. Di ba rin ganon? So, so nakikita ko yung tsura niya para pag nainis siya, parang, yan hindi niya mag, hindi siya magalit. So, ako, I I I even take over pagdating sa ganyan. Because, um, parang siguro, since lumaki din ako na na very disciplinarian yung mom ko, nakahanap din ako ng way na maging disciplinarian kay Amara, but not to the point of, you know, being parang diktador na ganito ganyan ganyan. So I think okay naman we found our balance. Mm-hmm. Hey you Gabby, Mensch. What's it like um, with you when you're I think ano eh uh, for example in terms of school, I I'm the one to take the lead, help them out when it comes to matters in the home, Mensch takes the lead. So it's not a matter of like good cup bad cup, but it's more of ano parang mas task oriented yung differentiation na mm. yeah that said i'm ano i'm a i'm a big kid i'm a 40 year old kid so <laughs> pag kumbaga mas nakaka-relate ako sa kanila tatlo yung malak yung bata dito oh. sa bahay ako lang yung adult <laughs> kaya pero ang maganda doon kunyari pag gusto kong makausap yung mga bata na parang talaga makinig sila pinapasabi ko kay Gabi kasi para silang magkakabarkada na nag-uusap lang. Mm. So, para kay ayoko na lang magalit or maine So, sasabihin ko sa kanya, sabihan mo yung mga bata na ayusin na yung mga damit nila. Kung hindi tatapon ko lahat yan. Sino <laughs> <laughs> ata talaga lahat ng mothers, no? <laughs> Oo, ganyan talaga ang mami, no? So, so may sabi. And then, they will follow in their own time and i think because he's more patient with them so he it's better also that he gets to communicate it to them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ano, it's been 70 days right hindi ba kayo nagkaroon ng cabin fever and how did you deal with it kung meron man ako feeling so we're lucky that we live in a townhouse so in inside a village so meron kaming kalye sa labas and that's been really helpful so for example we picked up new uh, skills and hobbies because we cannot run outside. We've learned how to do jump rope and we've been jumping rope outside of our house. At least oh, you grabe. see the sun. Yes, the we, we get the breeze and it's been really good for our psyche. Siyempre, mas mahirap mm. kung nasa building ka, nasa condo ka, hindi ka makalabas. Pero for us, at least may kalya sa harap namin na mm. nakatikip pa kami ng fresh air. Ako totoo yan. Nag-exercise ako isang beses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, yan, okay, yan. Once is better than zero. Uh, so, 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 one time na yun, ah. Oh, okay, yun. Okay, yung once. Pero grabe to si Mench, sobrang intense. Sige, go ahead. Go ahead, Ice and Lisa. Ano, wala, wala. Hindi. Um, so, wala bang ano? What cabin fever? Wala kasi nga parang um I've been I've been out for so long. I mean, I've always been out because of work that it was it became more of a relief for me na mm. oh, we, you know, of course we don't want what's happening, mm. pero on a personal level, mm. parang mas nagkaroon ako ng time then na parang talagang mapirmi sa bahay. Tapos speaking so, um, out actually. Yun yun. She and as in ginito yung ano niya, routine niya every mm. morning. She sleeps at 10, 11. She wakes up at 4 in the morning. And then she start researching. Oh my goodness. Writing papers. Geeking out. Literally. Because <laughs> um, oh. oh I haven't done this for a while. I mean, she enjoys um, it. No, we were able to write a position paper to the Senate to, you know, give. Um, Support. Ay, kasama kayo, mm-hmm. I mean, kasama yung uh, the whole creative industry to be given a uh, wage subsidy. Mm-hmm. So, alam mo yung parang nagkaroon ka ng time talaga na kasi dati puro programs ako. So it's really more interaction. It's mm-hmm. very, very external. Now talagang, wala. The only way to talk to them is to, you know, impress them with a 
with with a very impactful position paper to to you know assert your your position. So, yon. Mm-hmm. Um, Enjoy ako kasi I haven't so, been doing it. Para ako college it. student na uh, nag-order this paper. Grabe siya. Ayoko siya maging classmate. <laughs> Or pwede ko siya maging classmate mo sa kagroup ko. Gusto ko siya maging group mo. Kopyahan mo. Ako yung tagahawak ng paper. Ikaw yung mag-iisip. Oo. Nice. Pero ang galing nung, yeah, nakakatawa to see the dynamics. Pero eto, since, you know, you guys are couples, I'm curious also, so how do you go on dates naman? Or diba, how do you make time for yourselves? And nandiyan nga lahat, like, especially, diba, um, uh, townhouse or some, you know, some couples live in condos, tas marami ibang tao. So how do you make time na it's, you yeah, know, it's your you time as a couple? Ano ba yan? Huh? No, yung wow. ano, Mother's Day, actually, isa sa mga super special. Mother's Day, um, he made, uh, nagpa-order siya ng steak. Uh, tapos, mm. di, ito hindi nagluluto to. So, para siyang si Mench. <laughs> Lumabas yung inner cook. Lumabas yung inner cook niya. Dahil, uh, nagluto ko sa akin ng steak. Oh. Ng rice, gumawa siya ng carbonara. Um, oh. As in, complete with, ano ah, oh. presentation. Oh. So, parang for me... Pero parang uh, gym lang yan, one time lang din. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi di ba pag everyday mo gagawin yun? Oo, <laughs> 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 oh, totoo naman, totoo naman. Pero ako lang ko siyang inaaya, ano. Ang busy niya kasi talaga, pero like ko siya inaaya, love, tara, inom tayo minsan. So, yun, siguro yun yun namin. And then, ang pinaka-us hmm. time namin... For some weird reason, nag enjoy kami manood ng mga martial arts films, si mga Ip Man. Oh! Uh, oh talaga na! So, yun yung ano namin, manood kami yung ganyan. So, yun. Okay. Yun yung us time mo, man. Oh. Okay, for uh, for us, so, naabutan ako, naabutan kami uh, during May of my, ano, 40th birthday. 40th, during quarantine. Oh, belated! Oh, no. Out of her way to make it super special for me. Na yon, maraming gifts, maraming kung ano anong delivery. Tapos we had a super nice date. Nagbis pa kami, pang taas lang, naka shorts pa rin. Uh, yon, really nice uh, order from Las Flores, paired with very good wine. Oh, wow. Rin si so we had a super nice date, and yon, it was uh, it was actually super special. Saka, what, uh, uh, some weekends, we tell the kids we'll have a staycation, so you stay on the second floor. Tapos mag Netflix kami hanggang umaga. <laughs> and then, uh, now we enjoy drinking together, enjoying uh, mm-hmm. just uh, lingering over meals. I think kahit na ano yung ulam namin, basta masarap yung wine namin. Yeah, so mention we just linger. The, uh, part, uh, wine appreciation during this lockdown. <laughs> Taking a lot of online classes, uh, mm-hmm. and yon, know, she's been sharing them with our meals, learning what makes for a good wine. So yon, know, so she's had her own hobbies, and then yon, you know, ako rin nagbe benefit. <laughs> yeah, I think oh, it's really diba? amazing. Eh? We share a lot of meals together oh, as a family yeah. also. Yeah. Mm mm. Ay ay to. I sorry. Yes, go ahead. No, honestly, think no, go, go, go. very important. Um, no, para sa akin, I mean, uh, sa, kahit ano pa, kahit sa ibang activities ni magkakasama. I mean, sa amin na, but sa akin talaga pag meals, I think it's very uh-huh. important. No, talagang dun dun lahat eh, dun nagkakakwentuhan, dun nagkakalabas na so. Mm-hmm. I think yun, sama sa mindful something. And RuPaul. Ma- And yeah. RuPaul. <laughs> Yun talaga, Ay, we out. Yeah, RuPaul is our family. As in, that's so sacred to us. Like, we have to watch together. Wow. My daughter would probably go after us pag kalimbawang ano, magagalit siya sa amin pag nanood kami na wala siya, gano'n. So, meron kaming dalawang show na oh, talaga. Oh, nice. Kailangan, tatlo kaming manonood. So, Last Dance, tsaka RuPaul. Uh, kaso tapos na pareho. So, we need to find mm-hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> something new. No, it's Ako, good nga eh. What, 
what I'm hearing from you guys also is, the, um, yes, go ahead. Sino pa? Ricky? No, I just wanted to ask. Kasi Sorry, ano, parang nag-freeze uh, ako. Yeah, no. I just wanted to ask kasi mindful partnership, syempre meron din mga, ano, mga times na medyo uh, tense o kaya merong kainisan. Mm. How, do you, how do you give yourself space? How do you know when your partner needs space? How do you do it? Uh, Can you give us tips? <laughs> Nakakatakot yung mga ganyan questions kasi pag nanalumbali yung ala, 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 mga misis ko sa mga ganyan, parang bumabalik yung emotions. Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> um, siguro kami ni Lija, nung una kasi, nung bago pa lang kami, di ba meron tayong sinasabi na you know, don't, go to, don't go to bed angry or something. Mm. Pero sa amin yun eh. Mm-mm. Kasi talagang inaantok siya eh. Ang totoo ah. Hindi, parang <laughs> inaantok siya talaga. Oo. So, parang yun. Nat- natuto na lang ako na pagising na lang. Pagising na lang. Tsaka ako siya kakausapin. So, ayun. Eh, let's see. Kunyari, pag, alam ko yan, pag galit niya sa akin, hindi yan matutulog sa tabi ko. Matutulog yan sa tabi ni Amara. Or basta, definitely hindi sa tabi ko. So, I just let her be. Kesa nagkakabatri mm-hmm. pa ako, magkakasigawan. Mm-hmm. So, tapos alam ko, everyone oh. sinapang pinipas yan sa akin. Kasi alam ko, pag mag, magkakaroon na siya, mainit ulo niyan. So, hindi ko na papansinin yun. Every, every month, nag-aaway kami. <laughs> alam ko na yun. Mm-hmm. Second mm-hmm. week of the month. Kabisado <laughs> <laughs> na. Wala akong sasabihin. Oo. <laughs> Yun yung mindfulness. <laughs> I, I, oh, I actually, oh, I appreciate oh, his understanding. Sobrang, I, I can be pretty difficult, pero sobrang nasanay na sa akin si Ice na, I mean, I, I, I'd like to think he finds it cute sometimes. I actually do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pag ako, so parang, kasi, um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, being uh, in public service, there's a certain kind of diplomacy na kailangan mong ma-imbibe, eh, di ba? Yung, mm-hmm. Of course, mm-hmm. you hear so many negative stuff from uh, different people, tapos the, the, it's so toxic on Facebook, pero hindi ka pwede maapektuhan. Parang nakakarinig ka na ng kung ano-ano oh. sinasabi, dapat hindi, you game know. Game face on ka pa rin. Oo, oh, game face on, kailangan mm-hmm. you still accept it, ganyan. So, imagine kung kanino ko nalalabas yung real me. Yung real Aww. me, parang alam kong when I feel something and I need to say it, hindi niya ako i-judge. Hindi niya ako, alam kong maintindihan, he is my safe space. Kasi even mm-hmm. if alam niya na I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, magla-lash out ako, tapos yung emotions ko magta-take over sa akin. Parang hindi ko siya i-edit. Kasi alam ko na sa kanya ko lang magagawa yun ever. I don't ever mm-hmm. do it with other people. And people don't, you know, parang kahit na sobrang may excuse ka na to really um, parang call out those people, you don't eh. So parang, ang bait mo pa rin, yeah, kailangan true. pa rin, ano ka. So, um, na, ang sarap kasi na embrace yun ni Ice about me. Na I've never mm-hmm. felt na parang it's always been a flaw for other people na parang when you become that emotional but with ice, parang he really fully accepts it and, and embraces it. No! Oo, kinilig naman ako doon. Oo, nasan ba yung mga partner natin, Ricky? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, sila Gabi naman. That was so sweet. Thank you. Gabi, meron ka kayo, meron din. For us, I think, ano eh, so I'm probably the calmer one and uh, yeah. <laughs> the heart is yung mas emotional. I think, of course, hindi naman maiiwasan na magkakaroon ng inisan every once in a while. It comes with a territory with every couple and I think what's been very important is that uh, even pag nagkakainisan kami, we still do things as a family. So we still do our meals together. Mm-hmm. Uh, ulog pa rin kami, magkasama. Minsan hindi nagpapansinan, syempre. Pero parang you still work together as a family unit. So that's uh, that's one very important. Alam mo na, 
temporarily there's something wrong that may have to be addressed. May kailangan kayong pag-usapan, posibleng kinabukasan mm-hmm. na, posibleng mamaya, but you're still the sa- on the same team. Yeah, actually, mm-hmm. humble lang si Gabby eh. Hindi talaga siya nagagalit, as in ever. Parang yung time lang ata wow. nagalit siya dahil lang sa akin. <laughs> but he's like the calmest, like, most steady person that I know. And I think just like what uh, uh, what Ice and Lisa shared, no? na parang it's a safe space and you can be fully yourself. So I can tell Gabi na, alam mo, naiinis talaga ako. Ang pasensya ko ngayong araw na ito maikli. So, and he knows, he can sense that. And so he takes care of the kids. He makes sure that they do, uh, parang they just give me the space that I need. So mm-hmm. I think, yeah. Pero I think importante nga sa amin ngayon na he's really a steady, reliable, and steadfast uh, person who just like holds both of us together, especially when things aren't all right. Uh, that's, that's really beautiful. Um, I wanted to jump off on that point because especially when you said, you know, when things are not all right. Um, and what was um what was one important revelation about your partner that lumabas during the crisis parang ah ganito parang uh ganito pala siya or you know something you're grateful for that you guys got to um i guess experience together or grew into as a family during this crisis Maybe ako, ang narealize ko, magkaibigan talaga kami ni Gabi. <laughs> Parang we have such a deep friendship that even as we're staying together 24-7 and having all the parts of our lives come together in just one space, I think because we're just really such good friends, we enjoy each other's company. And... <laughs> so, so yun yung malaking discovery namin na 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 further na na establish ako hindi, hindi naman siya revelation because i've always told my wife this but you know i mean i love my wife but i really really like her alam mo yon yung i <laughs> i like her i i like yeah. all these things about her alam mo yon yung and totoo yan eh hindi mo talaga malalaman eh kasi syempre living in a confined space for such a long time and getting you know, you have all these temperaments emotions etc throw it into the box i still like her i love my own yeah i like her i mean i love my wife but i like her and diba iba siya sabi nila no that goes hand in hand no it doesn't and sometimes you know you don't like them that much diba you, you just love them but you don't really like mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. I like her yeah <laughs> and I enjoy her so much and the thing is yun nga parang siguro I just love being around her that even if sometimes you don't talk just I know just the fact that I know she's here I'm happy mm-hmm. yes yeah. ako yun yun yung parang I think lalong na reinforce um, during this quarantine period because um, meron kang a, a sense of parang security. You feel so safe talaga na like I can mm-hmm. be doing all these things on my own. I will be outside or may terrace kami sa labas. I'll be just spending my whole day there without having to feel, without feeling guilty. Ako na yon. Ako na Siguro sarili ko na yung parang magigilty ka on your own. Pero siya, he never makes me feel na parang it's something na isusumbat niya sa akin. Alam ko mm. na na niya. Tapos, um, uh, pag magkikita kami, parang there's that sense of like, oh, tapos ka na? Oh, so we can spend our time na together. Parang it's so, it's in, we don't need to say it out loud. Kung paano namin naintindihan yung isa't isa. Paano niya na embrace yung ginagawa ko? Pa- paano ko din mm-hmm. na Like, he would be, you know, into his game. And um, before, I never understood, you know, how games work. Na parang, I thought it's just a game. But no, like, mm-hmm. he related to how I love flamenco. I mean, how I love the things that I love. Oh, because, yeah. Like, you know, you get immersed into the world. You have, it's you. It's you. Um, it's yourself. It's your way of expressing yourself. So, siya... He is immersed into the game. Like, you know, pati itsura nung ano niya, character niya. 
kailangan kailangan aprobado niya kasi dapat na in love ko sa character ko. Diba? Pinapa-approve niya sa akin yung mga looks ng mga <laughs> ng mga ano, parang yung character that he plays. So parang na-appreciate namin sa isa't isa yung mga quirkiness namin na siguro sa ibang couples, ito yung mga mm. mapapaaway sa kanila kasi hindi can, parang one person will never seem to understand like, why are you into that game? Ano ba yung game na yan? Ganyan-ganyan, di ba? Or siya naman, para, ano ka ba? Trabaho, ganyan-ganyan. You're not, di, tapos na yung trabaho mo, hindi ka pa, ano, alas 11 na ng gabi, you know? Like, we'd never have those kinds of, of, yeah. Mm. Wala. <laughs> we never had those. But we're all just, we're, uh, it's more of, it's more of appreciation. Like, Uy, love, tapos ka na, tara, watch tayo. Ganun, ganun siya. Hindi siya yung, ano ba? Hindi, it's more of, I'm happy we're here na. I'm happy we can spend time na. Or, like siya, kasi I hate, I hate the heat. So, hindi ako lumalabas ang bahay. Ha. But every time lalabas ako ng, sa terrace, siya yung, oh, I'm happy you're here. So, those things. You know, parang, um, hmm. the, the little things, the little things that you do for each other, I think it's very important na na-appreciate yun ang bawat isa. Because those things matter, di ba? Yeah, and you realize that it's the little things that really matter because it's also the little things that can annoy you and they can mm. explode in a situation like this, di ba? Di ba? Yes. Sa, parang sabi ko nga din dun sa, you know, we were talking ng some girlfriends na, buti na lang, di ba? We like the people we're with. Um, and you mentioned this, <laughs> that you don't just love them, you really like them. Because what if you didn't and you were stuck with them? for 24 hours times how many days? <laughs> That's so unbearable. <laughs> so ito yung, ano, we're, we're moving into the last uh, few questions. And, you know, this has been a really fun episode. So it, it's, uh, you know, thank you so much for all your stories. Grabe, nakakatuwa. Tsaka nakakilig. So, ano naman ang advice na mabibigay niyo for couples who, you know, like, how do you relationship, um, you know, more, you know, more mindful, more harmonious relationship. Especially now, we don't know how long this whole crisis will really last. Diba? Um, GCQ na siya, pero we don't know what's going to happen in the future. There's so much uncertainty. Sige, I'll go ahead na. So, um, sige, I'll go mm-hmm. ahead. Siguro tips, like what I said kanina, it's very important to appreciate the small stuff. Like mm-hmm. yun nga, what you said na we can get pissed off by the little things as well. It's very important to appreciate the yeah. small stuff. Kasi, um, kumbaga, may something grand, sige, that's nice. Pero importante pa rin yung ma-appreciate mo yung partner mo sa maliliit na bagay na ginagawa niya for you. And... Um, mm-hmm. Tsaka very important talaga yung communication, especially now. Kasi imagine mo, di ba may sama ka ng loob, tapos iba bottle up mo yun. Just imagine any, I mean, one small thing can just tick you. And then boom, sabog yeah. naman. So kami ni Liza, talagang, yun ang never naming, never sa aming nawala. Uh-huh. I mean, like ito lang, di ba, may kinainisan siya sa akin nito. Bumuli ako ng Lego last year, hindi ko sinabi sa kanya, tinago ko sa bayan ng kaibigan, <laughs> yung mahal. <gasps> Pero nag-o-boy na tayo doon na. Ba't ba? Ang galit ka na naman. <laughs> okay. So, pero alam mo yun. Alam mo yun. Siyempre sa simula, mag-galit siya. Pero I explained to her and she understood. Alam mo yun yung, and I said, sorry. Mm-hmm. And all things. So, no, why didn't you, ha- why did you have to hide? No, <laughs> 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 Reenactment. <laughs> and ito ko naman sa kanya. Tinago ko kasi that time, kakabili lang niya sa akin ng ano, yung Ultimate Millennium. Collector Series na Millennium Falcon na Lego. Hmm? Kaso, oh my ito, goodness, ito, wow. Kasi itong, itong Imperial Star Destroyer na to, kailangan kong bilhin kasi paubos na. Eh, mahal oh, siya. Oo, oh, ano ba? Ano ba yan? Love dala dalawa, <laughs> mahal, mahal, ganyan. So, sinabi ko na, sinabi ko pa yun last year. Sinabi ko na yun. <laughs> but anyways, so yun, communication is very important. See? Yes, yes. I agree. <laughs> Ako siguro. Um, I agree. Uh, uh, be present. That's super important. Yes. Na parang, uh, akala mo, and yung presence mo, it has to be 
conform um, ano siya na ayon siya doon sa you know what your husband anong ano pinagdadaanan yung dalawa kasi sometimes akala mo just because ma- you are in one house you see mm. each other um mm. physically nasa isang lugar kayo akala nyo you're present already but yeah. sa amin kasi when you say present it's really undivided time for yeah. each other yeah. undivided attention quality time for us is when we can actually talk and discuss and and just really share things with each other and um especially sure. ngayon, new normal parang um sometimes hindi mo na you, you hindi mo nakikita na baka kailangan nyo ng isa't isa um pag mm-hmm. to adjust things and um like si Ice um uh siya hindi pa niya talaga na embrace yung concept na nasa new normal nandun siya sa parang ah nakatigil lang ngayon tapos babalik din sa ano babalik yeah. din mm-hmm. sa normal but no eh kasi kami sa government ngayon lahat ng mga discussions namin is really re- refocusing reprioritizing yeah. things really integrating the whole new setup into the direction na po- so ako mm-hmm. mas madali akong mas madali akong naka-transition na parang we have to get on the program. This is not, the, you know, you're not going to have a show anytime soon. You're not going to have um, a live event anytime soon. Yes, so, samatala ko na po. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to, ano, you have to adjust. You have to maximize the digital platform. Ganyan. Parang, you have to discover these things. Ayan, yung mga ganyang klaseng mga, mga um, online video conferencing para sa kanya. Mm. So, we have mm-hmm. to be we have to be present for each other. That's yes. super true no because we often take it for granted na nandiyan lang naman siya eh. Pero actually or uh, ako din yun, di ba sometimes oh sige wait lang ah you're multitasking you're doing so many things but you're not actually present and that's also a disservice to your family when you're there and you're not really there. Sakit guilty ko ano guilty ako diyan. How about for Gabby and Mench no? I think I want to pick up from uh, what Ice and Lisa also shared now about communication and listening and really staying attuned to each other. Kasi minsan yung hindi niya sinasabi, yun talaga yung gusto niyang sabihin. Mm. Diba? Mm. So, but it's really parang paying attention, being fully present, and uh, listening without any expectations. Uh, sumakinig. Parang I think yun yung isa sa mga naging regalo din itong mga panahong to na to Miguel to take a pause to just really keep still and have that presence and stillness to listen to each other to be attuned to each other and it also helps us uh, listen more to our children mm-hmm. eh, because parang with everything that's been happening parang if it's also teaching them as we embody parang being attuned to each other Sa akin naman, I think it's good na meron kang uh, your own interest, your partner's own interest, and something that you do together. Kung pareho kasi lahat ng ginagawa nyo all the time, parang wala nang bago. Yes. So, you know, Mench brings, for example, yung wine appreciation niya. She brings it to our meals, and it's new for me. So parang may, yun, natututunan niya sa akin. Um, we we do it with uh, the jump rope we're doing together, just having fun. Nag- parang naglalaro lang kami, parang bata ulit. And then, yun. So, tapos may mga bagay na ginagawa kami magkasama. We watch movies together. Mm. We learn things together. We listen to audiobooks together. So, maganda na may sarili kang interest na pwede mong i-share, pwede mong matutunan from your partner. And it's good to have these activities mm-hmm. that you can learn from together. Yeah, and I like what you said about, you know, um, also enjoying playtime together and being like kids together. Um, um, it's nice, when, especially the, when, when life is hard and there's a crisis and it's a challenging time. You don't have to be serious all the time. Um, so, and what I'm, what I'm seeing from yeah, both of you is... Yeah, kasi sobrang masistress. Diba? Especially ngayon. Oh. Pag inisip mo, lahat ng nangyayari sa mundo right now, hindi ka talaga makakatulog. Mm-hmm. Tsaka nakakatanda <laughs> Di ba? I mean, yeah, things outside are stressful as they are So it's good Oh, 
<laughs> diba? So important to um, you know have your kumbaga, have your fountain of youth in the home. This is this is your refuge and your oasis, de ba? Ikaw Ricky, ano for you yung some of the ano some of the things that you really picked up from from this whole episode? Ako ano eh, nagustuhan ko yung ano yung sempre yung safe space that uh, both mm. partners created for each other. Uh, yung safe space at saka yung mga ano parang mga rituals na non-negotiable ang lunch at dinner at saka magkakasamang kumain yung mga ganung bagay small mm-hmm. things but they really count and i'm really happy that you shared that yeah it's um right now when things are uncertain sometimes um it's important to have something that you can be sure of diba that 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 routine so um ayan we're coming to the end of the episode and again it's it's been really fun but i wanted to ask is there anything that you guys want to promote um alam ko si gabby has been active in the webinar circuit um he gives a lot of talks about remote work so ayan actually lisa kung kailangan mo ng expert on remote work um yan si gabby um frequently tapped speaker yan in that regard or maybe ice has another performance coming up um other fundraisers i um, mean please feel free to share with our audience i have nothing specific to promote at the moment pero tulad na sabi ni nais if you need someone to help you figure out how to uh work remotely with your company or with your business yeah you know, that's something i've been helping out some people with Um, ako naman um long trabaho. <laughs> De, ano, um, you can uh, well, I have an org. It's a uh, ano pa an org? Volunteer, Volunteer Corps PH and uh, we're still accepting donations. So, if you if you can, uh meron pa kayong extra kahit konti, please donate to um Cariza Segera. Bale, it's a uh, it's a it's BPI, uh Cariza Y Segera. Account number 2020-000115. Ayan. Yun lang. Yeah, tuloy-tuloy yung ano namin, yung mga programs namin. And we, eto, we so actually we'll, we'll, um, sa so hospitals. Mm-hmm. And actually, we're also helping out ano, individual people like um, kids na nasa chemo. So, um, if, yes, go ahead, please. Ayan. So, yun lang. Yun lang naman. Um, sorry, or... And um, if there are Facebook posts um, of yours that we can also share, we can share that in the page. Yay! Thank you. That will help a lot. Yay! Ayan. Ako naman okay, wala. Sorry. Ano Katie, lang. Uh, support lang. Support lang. Uh, support lang sa... Um, uh, pinupush namin ngayon. Uh, Um, the 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 next economic stimulus bill that will be um, proposed in Senate and in Congress right now would actually give um, space for the creative industry. And I see a lot of us, all of you are all, all from us. creative industry. So imagine, hmm. kahit pa paano makakaroon tayo ng wage subsidy for two months. <laughs> Dati kasi nawala eh. We fell into the cracks, di ba? Hindi tayo pwede mm. makakuha sa DOLE, hindi tayo pwede makakuha sa DSWD kasi hindi tayo mm. priority. For us, for our industry to actually be written in the in the law is is really a milestone for yeah, for an agency like us. And for our industry to be acknowledged, the creative industry, the gig mm-hmm. economy, freelancers to be acknowledged, you know, oh, as yes. a contributor oh. to the country is... Is a um, is a big step towards um, formalizing us. So yun um uh, we keep yun lang talaga yung pinopos namin ngayon kasi maraming nangangailangan ng uh, so na industriya natin na ngayon um uh, especially ban pa rin ng mass gatherings um we won't see that happening anytime soon na uh, even the trade the, the trajectory trajectory mm. of perform yung pag magperform mm. sila ng trabaho kasi um, ano pa rin eh uh, uh, 50% pa rin yung capacity so we need all the help that we can get from our national government so yon support maybe Gabby? Mench? no we're good You're good. Okay. Uh, nice. Would you li- like to wrap things up? Yeah. Parang nagahang si Nice. It's very true. Mm-hmm.
Oo nga eh. Um, okay, can you guys hear me? All right. All right, so um, Ricky, is there anything that you want to promote on the Fundacion San Sosa side uh, uh, before we wrap up? Well, I know we've opened an exhibition tonight. Um, actually, uh, it's online. Wow. So I'll just, post, oh, I'll just post it na lang. So it's called Mutation Series. Um, uh, our artists have been able to tap into yung, yung nangyayari ngayon, the pandemic, and yung, ano, yung parang uh, the, need to, the need to be not overwhelmed. Yun lang naman yung, mm-hmm. ano, yung essence ng artwork. Uh, it's online and ano, feel free to share na rin later. Thank you. Ako, gusto ko lang magpasalamat sa ano, kay Ice at kay Lisa, kay Gabby at kay Mench because I really learned, personally, I really learned a lot. And Nines, thank you then for having yes. me. Pasa ko na sa'yo. No, okay. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for bearing with the, you know, our third world internet problems. But thank you so much to Ice and Lisa, to Gabby and Mench. It's been really fun. Like, imagine if there's were an actual live conversation with wine. Ang saya nun. Pero in the meantime, we're glad that we have this time to be able to connect. And we hope that our audience was able to learn something. Please, I encourage you to watch uh, the replay if you didn't get to catch the first part. Pakishare rin sa friends. At sa mga single friends, Sabihin nyo, ayan, yan ang mga kailan hanapin sa partner, ha? Makinig. Diba? So, very important. And um, I will just share my screen uh, again just to quickly just to quickly show, um, um, just to wrap up the episode. So, again, this is Mindful Manila. Um, we invite you to check out uh, our website, our Facebook page, uh, Twitter, Instagram. We also now have a YouTube channel. And next week, uh, we're super excited about the rest of our lineup as well. So next week, um, this is going to be a, ano ba, a belated World Environment Day uh, episode. And it's going to be about green living at home. And then June 15, we're going to talk about financial freedom in the new normal since it's going to be Independence Day. Diba? How will we redefine uh, financial independence in the new normal, especially you know in a time of crisis. Then on June 22, it's going to be our ano naman, belated Father's Day episode. We're going to talk about mindful masculinity. So that's a, a topic I've always been curious about, and I'm excited to finally get to talk about it. And June 29, sound body, sound mind. So we're going to have strength training, um, yoga, and mental wellness, and you know how physical wellness also um, contributes to mental wellness, especially right now. And again, we um, thank um, all our guests. It's been such a wonderful hour spent with you all. And um, to all our, to our audience, thank you again. And um, we hope that you will stay tuned um, the next time around. Okay. So good evening, everybody. Have a good evening. Bye. Thank you for having us. Good evening. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye.